Hello and welcome to another update video about Dot. Dot has reacted to the micro support zone here on Monday. The price reacted to it and is currently rallying a little bit, but nothing major. I mean, at the moment we see a bit of a pullback there on the Bitcoin, uh, on, on the Bitcoin chart as well. So Dot is reacting as well. Um, pullbacks are normal. We'll see how, how big they get. The thing is, um, this chart obviously broke out of the trend line. So this trend line might act as support. So we have to watch for it. At least maybe we just get a, a retest of the trend line and then trend continuation. Due to the breakout to the upside, the triangle wave count that I was tracking as well as short-term bearish potential got invalidated. That certainly shifts probabilities more towards the yellow count. It is now a more plausible scenario where it was just sort of speculative before. But it still needs to prove itself, okay? Because the yellow count is at best a diagonal pattern. And if it's a diagonal pattern, then, which which it is at best, then the third wave should reach $8.78 and the fifth wave should reach $9.37. Only, and it's very important, only when we get these five waves up to $9.37, then I can say that the wave two has likely bottomed. Until then, it's still, even though plausible, but still probabilities aren't very clear because we need the five waves. So far, I have, yeah, I don't know, two and a half or something. So I don't have, I'm far away from five. And at least, you know, it's it's basically three waves. So it could just top here at any point in this B wave, which would be further confirmed if we break below the Monday low. So where the price reacted here to that micro support area, this low needs to hold and it's at 685. Um, I don't have a very good read of the micro structure in this C wave. That's very unclear. Um, yeah, it really is very unclear. So obviously a C wave would be a five wave move. I, I really struggle to interpret anything into this that, that really makes sense. There are ways, you know, to label this, of course. So you could just make it easy and say a W, X, Y, and then this is like an A, B, C, but then it should still push higher. The FIB levels are what really matters. There are two parameters that really matter in the yellow count. The first parameter is the Monday low. That really needs to hold. That would be important. And then the price should get to 878 next. And then obviously we can watch for the wave four to maybe find support, form a higher low, and then the fifth wave, as I said, to like $9.37. Could we still form one more low in this wave too? Absolutely. To be honest, this is not really a meaningful reversal yet. Nothing really significant yet, okay? So I need the five waves, I already said that, but if it's only a three wave rally, it can, it can, it can just be a B wave rally, yeah? So for example, this was obviously the wave one, that's the thesis, then the move down would just be the A wave. We're now forming some kind of a B wave. The higher it gets, the better for the bulls, uh, because otherwise the C wave might run out of space down here. And overall, the idea is as long as we're holding 460, yeah, we should be able to see that third wave rally to $50 or higher in the bull run. But that 460 level is key in the very short term. It's the Monday low. I mean, these are the parameters to watch. For everything else, we need a little bit more price data now for any further assessments on the smaller time frame. I want to see how it now survives this current pullback. And there is a pullback. At the moment, Bitcoin, you know, sells off more than um, DOT. I think Bitcoin dominance might go down a little bit. And therefore, that's pretty good for these altcoins. I mean, if, if in any pullback now, the altcoins can hold quite well, that could be a good indication that maybe we're starting sort of bid on altcoin season. Just, you know, don't get, don't get too excited yet. But obviously, when we see Bitcoin dominance go down and the altcoins in pullbacks hold their higher lows and everything, so that's going to be interesting. But... I gave you the levels, you know, that micro support area there was definitely successful. I can tell you that this rally looks more like a three wave move up. So it all looks kind of incomplete and choppy, not very confident yet, but let's see what the, let's see if the levels hold and let's see if we can get to that 878 level. Next Fibonacci resistance levels are at 793 and 845, but best would be to get to 878. 
Bear in mind, there's also some structural support around about at 850. And then we have this swing high at around $9 as well, which is quite relevant. But overall, yeah, this market is still caught in a range with overlapping choppy sideways structures. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.